Puzzle number 113. Chip Champions. Six people are talking at a casino. A says, I'm only left with a quarter of the chips I started with. B C says, if you add up the number of chips that I B and F lost, you get the amount that I started with. E says, I had the same amount of chips as B at first, but now I'm completely I, but now I've got more chips. D says I'm completely out of chips. Uh, excuse me. Draw lines from from the people A to F to the stacks of chips one to six to identify which chips belong to who. Well, I'm only. A says I'm only left with the quarter of the chips I started with. So A could either be this one or this one. And D says I'm completely out, so this is D, no doubt. I didn't mean it to, I didn't mean to rhyme it. And E says, C says if you add the number of chips that B and F lost, you get the number of the amount that I started with. Well, anyway, it's... Ahem. And my throat really hurts. E says I had the same amount of chips as B did at first. Now I, well, and now I've got more left. What? So E can either be this one or this one. And B. So no. So E E's this one since it has more chips than that one. So who can see? C says if you if you add up the chips number of chips that B and F lost, you'll get the amount that I started with. can either be this one, this one, or this one. And so can C.
And I don't think C is this one either. I think this is it. I think. to A. Stack 3 belongs to B. Stack 5 belongs to C. Stack 2 belongs to D. Stack 6 belongs to E. And stack 1 belongs to F. D and E's comments are the way are the key to solving the puzzle. Wait a second. Are you trying to stop me? I, you don't think I can win? Is that it? No, that's not it at all. I just think you should stop for your own good. For my own good? <laughs> then why? I'm not certain that you would be... It would be better if you walked away now. Well, now. I have to make a... Well, now I have to make a bet since you're gonna make such a big deal about it. Don't expect me to send my winnings. Or your losings. Do as you will. Oh, we made it to the racetrack. To the races. I believe someone made off with one of our cars. No, Gustav. And by the way, it has, it's done, it was done make, the way it was done makes me think this is no ordinary verse. I get the impre, I get the impression our carpet is rather accustomed to this sort of work. Not only that, but the kind of operation requires mining, accomplices, time, and a familiarity with the town. I'm sure. Well, I do hope the, the police bring him to justice soon. How about a puzzle in the meantime? I think, I, I think after this puzzle I'm gonna call it a part for a recording. My throat kind of hurts. Puzzle number 157. Day at the races. This one looks like a t-shirt, this one looks like a chair, and this one looks like a guitar. Hooray! The races are on! Three groups of tradespeople have been invited to watch. Tailors, winemakers, and upholsters. The seating for each of the groups has been arranged so the sponsors can sell a glance. So that's not a guitar, that's a bottle? Can you tell which groups of tradespeople is sitting in the yellow area? Uh, I don't know. The tailors? Just a dash of puzzle solving here. A fine puzzle for a gentleman. Yep. Correct. The red seating area is shaped like a chair, so that's where the upholsters will sit. The blue seating area is shaped like a bottle, so the winemakers will be sitting there. And finally, the yellow seating area is shaped like a t-shirt, just right for the tailors. I can't, in good conscience, fill the space with 
when his mass gentleman's out there somewhere. I feel it might be dangerous. Because he might be involved in, in advertently creating an audience for one of his dark miracles? Yes, exactly. And with that, I'm gonna leave this part here. I'm gonna cut my throat hurts, like I said. Anyway, this has been the Professor Attorney with another Objection song. Bye, Zs.